Have you ever wanted to lock and unlock your computer without ever having to touch it? Gatekeeper is here to help. This is the second generation Gatekeeper. It's essentially a Bluetooth lock and key system for your computer. It connects using a little Bluetooth USB thing like you get for a wireless mouse and the software that you find off the internet as well as this key. The key itself is actually very simple. It's just this tiny little thing. It's only 45 millimeters by 25 millimeters by six millimeters in depth. It runs off of a standard CR2032 coin battery that you can get it anywhere really. And uh, one is actually included in the box as well as this lanyard, the Bluetooth USB little dongle thing, and a little clippy thing so that you can put it on a keychain. You also get a quick start guide, although the full user manual is available online on the Gatekeeper website. Connecting the Gatekeeper is actually very, very easy. All you have to do is download their software off of the internet, link in the description. It's very simple, it's just a couple of megabytes, it should only take a minute or two. Then you just take the little USB stick and plug it right into a USB port and then it will bring up a thing that'll tell you that you haven't registered a gatekeeper yet. Would you like to do that? And obviously you do. Then all you have to do is click yes and then hold this thing up to the Bluetooth thing and then it connects and you're like, oh my god, that was so easy. Then all you have to do is enter your Windows password and then make up a four digit pin code and then you're ready to go. Now let's take a look at the actual settings for the gatekeeper. So you'll see up at the very top, you have a little bar that shows you how close the key is. When it's green, it means your computer is going to be unlocked. When it's yellow, it means it's going to do nothing. And when it's red, it means it's going to lock the computer, depending on how you have it configured. Personally, I have it configured so that the gatekeeper can lock and unlock the computer just with its proximity, and I don't want to bother with having to enter the pin code and all that. Uh, I don't know. It's personal preference, really. There's only three options you can choose from. You can set it to lock only, which means that the only thing you'll be able to do with this is lock the computer when you walk away, and then you would log in with your regular U Windows credentials. You could have it with the gatekeeper and the pin, which means that you have to be close to it and you have to enter your four digit pin code or you can just have it lock and unlock depending on the proximity. You can also change with the little slidey bar the distance that the key needs to be from the little Bluetoothy area for it to actually lock the computer. So if you want it to be like really close, like you have to be hugging the computer to have it be on, you can set it to very near. Or if you want to be able to be anywhere in the house and then somehow be able to use your computer from all across the room, you can set it to really far. It'll also show you the battery of the key so that you can make sure that you're not gonna run out of battery and then be locked out of the computer forever. Although, if the battery does run out, you're not completely locked out of the computer because you can still log in with your Windows credentials. So that's the nice thing about the gatekeeper is that you are never gonna be completely and utterly locked out of the computer. Now, as far as reliability goes, I find that it tends to work almost every time. Occasionally, and very rarely does this happen, um, it can lose its signal when I'm sitting fairly close to the computer. And in that situation, all you have to do is enter your Windows password or just pull it out and go, hello, I'm here, hello, don't lock me out of the computer. And then it just works fine. The only glitch I've actually had with the gatekeeper was a couple of days ago, I arrived and it just was not registering. I, I, I was sitting there and I was like, hello, young man, why, hello, I, are you there? I'm trying to register my gatekeeper so that I can unlock my computer, but it's not working, young man. And it just wasn't having it. What I eventually had to do was unregister this key, quit the program, unplug the dongle, restart the computer, start the program, and re-register the key. So that was a little bit annoying, but that was the only glitch that I've had in about a week and a half of use. Now, the gatekeeper is a little bit on the expensive side. This little fella will run you $60 on Amazon. Personally, I wouldn't pay $60. I don't, I don't think it's a $60 item right here, but I can understand that for a very new technology in a startup company, it's hard to justify $60. Now the one place where you could justify the price is if you're using this for a business to keep your uh, company computers secure. The Enterprise Starter Pack, for example, which includes five of these gatekeepers as well as a three-month subscription to their online security software, 
uh, which will run you $250. And then, of course, you can add more gatekeepers up from there and extend your subscription service for more. In that situation, I would say that it could possibly make sense if you want to make sure that your company's information is secure. Now, it should be stressed that the enterprise software, as of right now, looking on their website, is only compatible with Windows 7, 8, 8.1, and 10. Although it should be pointed out that the regular gatekeeper with its regular software does work on Mac OS just fine. Now as far as utilizing the gatekeeper best, I personally think it works best on a desktop or at least a, a computer that is going to be staying in one location for the most part. For a laptop, it doesn't really make as much sense because you're going to be tending to carry that around with you, not to mention it uses up valuable USB space. But for me personally, on my desktop with 17 USB ports, I can spare one. In summation, if you can get past the rather steep $60 price tag, and you have a computer that is stationary, whether a desktop or a laptop that you don't move around, and you can spare a USB port, I would say that this is a great little device for keeping your information safe and secure. Because all you need to do is have it with you, and it's done simple. As usual, make sure to follow me on Twitter at Luke Miani. Make sure to leave a like down below and don't forget to subscribe. I will see you guys next week.